What is going on everyone? Scardifist here, bringing you guys another episode of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. So, I actually uh, played quite a bit off camera, and when I say quite a bit, I mean like a level or two off camera. And uh, as you can see, just take a look at the stats real quick. Leveled up everything, I remember how I had a fuck ton of assignable points, right? Well, I finally put more into intelligence and just dumped them all into looting, medical, first aid, and trading. So. Next time we put another point into intelligence, or two more levels later, this is going to be capped out. Then I can focus on this, and maybe even focus on other um, attributes. Like, I'm looking to have a, have my guy maxed out, and ready to fight, essentially. And, as you can see, we've actually done quite a good job. Now, I decided now to record, because look at this little you know notification that just popped up. Zinkov is under siege by 63 men. Now, here's the problem with, with that. No bandit party is capable of fielding that many. And no, like, the, the rebellion front can't field that either because they're freaking crushed. So, I just need to take a look real quick. And it looks like it's Poznas, or not Poznas, but ARF that are attacking Zinkov. Now, I honestly think this could be a bug because the AI never gets this aggressive. It's usually you that has to do the aggression. But, yeah, I think what happened was these guys were attacking Zinkov, the bandits, and the ARF just fought them, but the game bugged out to besieging my town. Doesn't matter, though, because it works for me because I have decided to declare war eternal on every single faction. As I said last episode, I would. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually defend the settlement at nighttime. And also another bug that I ran into. Um, last update said that they fixed the bug with night vision be being able to be placed into the miscellaneous inventory. Well, uh, it doesn't seem to be working. And I don't really want to, like lose this exploit right now because I want to maintain all my gear for this upcoming battle so if it's just a one-time thing well I'm gonna probably not unequip it until it fixed so like I said let's begin we do have nine we do have nine troops uh, that we've stationed inside basic armor marauders and fodder and uh, yeah they're gonna be distributed in such a way that I really don't see them c coming out of this alive like 63 is a massive assault like that's something I would use on a city okay so the layout is as usual uh, and when I say that I mean our best defensive position is gonna be either in the front with snipers flanking these hills as always so we're gonna bring out all the big guns in this fight we're not bringing out any commander units because they're grenadiers and they need to be dealt with efficiently as possible. Like, we do not, yeah, we, we, we will not risk uh, death, so to speak. So, we're going to bring out him and we're going to bring out you. Now, you're going to go right here and you're going to go right here. We don't want, remember, we do not want any, any spread out fight. Can we get these guys? Okay, so... All right, we can get probably quite a few squads. Let's, you know what? Let's move you here. And right now, I'm just gonna stay right along the edges here because we're going up against. Look at, yeah, ARFs and not grenadiers, but they're gonna have some serious firepower regardless. Now, our relationship with the ARF is bound to go down after this, which is fine because technically speaking, they attacked us first, even if it was a bug. So let's try on the night vision real quick. Let's see what we're up against. Now, I'm gonna stand behind this building right now because I'm. I don't want to get too tapped. Let's get these guys up on this little hill. Uh, you guys got to be more here. Yeah, you see, look at this. We have one man defending against... <laughs> Goodbye, Armor Marauder. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, move here, move here. So, so far, we have no contact. Now, this could just be because that they... Yeah, they did not deploy in this zone. As expected. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you're going to spread out just like that. Uh, yeah, we have very strong units to deal with here. Let's just let our sharpshooters just do most of the work. Okay, as soon as most of you guys... Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Armor Marauder, yeah, he's just... He's dead. He was going to die no matter what. Okay, I'm going to have you guys lend some fire support over here. Granted, you're probably going to be in a pretty interesting position. 
And yeah, look, it's easy as that. We're shredding them to pieces. Let's get the grenadiers slightly involved. No, 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 you will not follow me. Because if you do, no, 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 you will not follow me. Yeah, look at that. Look at this. It's just they can't do a single thing. Every faction is just too weak to stand up against the might of the cartel. You know what? I probably want to get involved, but at the same time, I just want to loot their dev corpses. Like having two Pazna squads is literally the, the the success story, or the key to success in at least this version of the game, because until the until they can like either well, I don't want them to nerf Pazna's, but maybe they should just for more army diversity or make the other units stronger. Like because look at the damage we're doing right now, just ridiculous. We, they started with 63. They're at 13 now. I haven't even made my way. Granted, I'm not even like moving too fast. H halfway across the damn city, and most of them are dead. Now, let's get behind a tree. Let's let our guy rest. I do really want to put more points into stamina, though. I really feel like that's going to be key for me in the upcoming battles. And, you know, just a natural sort of progression. Um. I do think that the devs plan on adding more content because if they can let make you level up this much and technically max out, because let's be real here, overall we're looking at something like over level 40, judging by how many bars of stats to be filled that can be filled. But regardless, I do think that plenty of content is coming. Um, devs are very active on their Discord, and yeah. I just can't wait to see what's in store next because this game's go going on a trajectory that I really, really like. Like, yeah, I dare say, like, they're going on kind of RimWorld's trajectory in the sense that they're gonna keep building their game, hopefully grow a fan base over time. Not as fast as RimWorld in terms of the fan base, but that that will happen as long as they continue to do what they're doing. And they're doing a wonderful job, truly wonderful. There we go. That's my kill. One kill is needed. All right, let's get our ammo and flak vest food. Uh, ooh, okay, okay. Let's see if we have t one, two, three, four. So four slots. Okay, we gotta get the money, of course. Five hundred one. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna sell the marine helmets. And these are very decent helmets too. They're probably the best helmets with camouflage. Maybe if you, maybe with the exception of the NATO one, that's thirty-two and eight. But that's, yeah. Not here or there, the problem. Okay, so this, yeah, okay, I'm gonna sell this as well. And, oh my goodness, we just captured a general. Wow, that was an actual company. Okay, okay. We're gonna save real quick. I w and I wanna see our relationship with the ATOP forces because I can't imagine it being good. And you're probably wondering, how did I get so much money? And well, I'm gonna be honest, I uh, I caved and kinda gambled. And when I mean I kinda gambled, I mean I hella gambled. So what I did was, uh, I put all the money, I think it was like, what, 30k or 27k down? And what happened was, uh, in that game of Blackjack, which is the gambling, only gambling method currently in uh, Freeman. Anyway, in that game of Blackjack, what I ended up doing was, I got like a 14 and it allowed me to split. After that, I, I was like, um, after splitting, I got an option to double. So, not only think, think about this. If you if you don't really know how this works or blackjack works, I'm gonna dumb it down for you. If you split your bet, essentially it means that uh, you double it in the sense that one set, like one set has, like the value of, is 14 on one set. You split it, so now you have two values, and then if you get a chance to double, then it's doubled again. So it's basically four times. In the end. I gained a fuck load of money. I just went all in and yeah. Oh, don't gamble kids. Don't gamble. It's such a bad idea. The casinos always have it rigged for you to lose. Do not gamble. Like don't gamble. There's a reason why Belgium outlawed loot boxes. <coughs> EA because it's gambling. But anyway, let's take a look at a relationship with these. Oh, so we not. Okay. So they're hostile, which means all right, I can engage that front. Uh, this actually might be a good time to take a look at our prisoner, though, because 
I remember now that we have so many bandits to execute, there's no way he's gonna resist us. So we're gonna execute, I'm not gonna reply, execute. There you go. Now you're replying. Let's find more bandits to execute. Looters are even better. Execute, execute. Like look at this. Everyone, now you're complying. Now yeah, there you go. We had to torture him. I I did not I was not taking any chances with this guy. Okay, so now he is pretty much maxed out. All right, we can retire one of these guys. Never was going to be significant. And let's just take a look at his stats overall. So okay, he he has ooh. He's got a grenade launcher. Okay, first things first, you're going to get um actually but, okay, so you have 14 accuracy, you're, so your accuracy is pretty much as good as hers, which is, or and his, so pretty decent, uh, better than hers, hers is god awful, like I, I really don't see how, like, if I max everyone out, she's still the worst, <laughs> but whatever, she's been with us for so long, gotta give her the benefit of the doubt, he does have a grenade launcher, that's what's really good, you, uh, what you have is debatably terrible, anyway, uh, Let's get you the flak vest, pants, nothing we can give you, helmet, now that's something we definitely can give you, just for now, uh, mask, we do have iron masks for him, and you know what, we're going to take a look, let's let's take a look at what we can buy in, oh my god, bandits, bandits everywhere, okay, so, uh, okay, you know what, we'll buy a cultist mask, just for the sake of this, because uh, we're, we're going to sell this, and we're going to sell this. Damn. Okay. You know what? Because he is a grenade. You know what? Let's just buy him a Spetsnaz helmet. Just pay. Oh, my God. Pay that. But what if I sell this? Okay. You know what? Now that's worth That looks to be a lot more worth it. Okay. So, you know... Change of plans, you're actually getting the best helmet by like a margin. You get armored up, we're gonna sell the marine helmet. I know, I know, unfortunate, tragedy, whatever. Ugh, still can't sell it, doesn't have enough money, whatever. Sell this. Now, what can we get you that will be a suitable weapon? You know, we already have one an AK 74M. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, there you go, AK-74. This will only be temporary, and we'll get you this. Now, we gotta get him pants, but uh, I'm gonna have to say it's a pretty good start. Now, we have to move the officers, obviously, because he now is there, as supposedly. Let's give you a full upgrade, too, and see how... Yeah, so seven... Wow. A speed of seven. Let's see if... I don't think anyone's as fast as him. Nope, he's the fastest fucker in here. Which means, wow, he's got a grenade launcher, and honestly, I would give him a sniper rifle if I could. Because this speed is not as fast as the pause. It's like, I don't think there's any single unit that's going to be as good as these maxed out. Like, any general unit. But he has a grenade launcher, which is why I'm not giving him the rocket launcher. Or not the rocket launcher, but a sniper rifle. Because I want him on the front lines spewing. Like, I want him as a like upgraded grenadier. Because let's look at these guys, how strong they are. See, they don't have any speed. They have... And his accuracy, so he's the best grenadier. He's a grenadier general, essentially. Because he's got every piece of gear, with the exception of maybe his like body armor. Because let's see what these... I, can, I can't even tell because I've upgraded my grenadiers to the max. You see, I, I can't even tell, but... I'm pretty sure it's better. Or will make him better, to say the very least. Now, we're surrounded by a crap ton of bandits, and... The Silver Eagle Battalion does not like us. That is fine. We will slaughter you regardless uh i'm gonna you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clear some of the bandit scum and i'm gonna let my upgrade units do most of the work this time and what i mean by that is i'm only gonna deploy one squad and it's gonna be the commander unit i really want these guys to get a good load of xp so that in the upcoming fights they can replace probably a useless squad that i don't need and honestly judging by the thing uh, not thing, but judging by the way uh, the composition is looking now, I think we might have to decommission Grenadiers because I know they're powerful, but they gotta get in pretty close range and they risk getting like massacred. Like I'd rather 
significant lace ARF machine gunners that are maxed out in armor and have a pretty much better weapon to just to spray them down because one they have speed and two granted their speed's low but they still have it and two their armor is going to be a lot stronger and same with health after you give them the uh, appropriate equipment upgrades now with that said uh we're gonna have you set on charge i can't see jack so i'm gonna turn on night vision And let's take a look out for these guys. It's only bandits, so if they're coming from these two directions, can't... Oh, no, there's three directions. Oh, I should zoom out more often. Anyway, let's go right in the center and just, you know, because they're all going to converge on that location. Now, okay, I was correct. Fire, okay, better than Freedom Guards. And all I'm doing right now is trying to get a, some covering fire from my guys. Granted, I don't even think that like makes much of a difference. Like, they're gonna hit their shots, they're gonna hit their shots. Alright, shots coming this way as well. Alright, this is terrible cover, but we're gonna have to just work with it for now. Finally. Yeah, I'm trying to like see their shots at night. Oh, keep hitting the map at nighttime just to like get a beat on them. But it's super hard, especially since this vi night vision is still. I don't want to say it's terrible, but it's it's obviously better than seeing nothing. But like green bullets or like you'll just see like that kind of color for bullets. It just makes it just makes it hard for me to get a get a shot. Okay, I, I'm not getting anything, but I know for a fact some guy was down, down here. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm gonna let my boy, do, my boys do the work. There he is. Oh, finally. There you go, go to the front, go to the front, go to the front, go to the front. There we go, two kills, good enough for me. Uh, party gained 110 XP, there's a marginal number. We're going to get a med kit because I'm pretty sure our guys took a little bit of a few hits, which is fine. It's always expected of us. Uh, let's get these pants for now, and the only reason why is because I don't think I can, well, I don't even know if I can, but I want to give... What is that? I want to give my guy a better chance at having good tack pants. Let's actually just first, you know what? Let's first equip it with him. Just for now, because, yeah. Okay, so his pants are, yeah, his pants are pretty bad. This is still bad, but it's just a little bit better than what we had before. Okay, so uh, with that said, I think I'm going to leave the episode off here. If you like the video, hey, maybe subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, comments are always welcome. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.